Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I have decided to film the highly not requested video of a tattoo tour just because I figured some people might be interested. False. I already do have like a tattoo tour up in my shorts feed, but I just wanted to give you guys more of a detailed footage of my tattoos just because you can't really see them in the iPhone quality that I have already presented to you in the time of us living in our car. We're just gonna get started. If I'm being completely honest with you, I'm not gonna be able to go exactly in order because I've lost track. I started getting tattoos when I was 15. <laughs> I know for a fact my first two tattoos, we're gonna start over here on the left wrist and underneath all of these woods, <laughs> you're gonna see lettering and it says nothing lasts forever and nothing stays the same. However, the G's in all of these words were actually Y's and the word last was L-A-S-T instead of L-A-S-T-S. It was missing an extra letter, but that's what you get for getting a tattoo at 15 in somebody's garage. You don't say. I don't have any regrets about it just because, I don't know, it was a time in my life to remember. I honestly don't have any regrets on any of my tattoos. A lot of these tattoos don't have any meaning. Some of them used to have meaning, but they don't have meaning anymore. We're gonna go over to the right foot I got when I was also 15. This is probably one of the tattoos that hurt the absolute worst. My foot was so swollen. I was not able to walk. I was not able to go to school. I had to elevate and ice the heck out of it because it hurt so bad. It was blue and purple. It was awful. It doesn't have any meaning. I think he charged me like 50 bucks for my wrist tattoo, and then he charged me like 75 bucks for my foot tattoo and what comes next <laughs> I cannot tell ya Wow, I have quite a few cover-ups actually, but I think we're just gonna make our way over to these two upside down faces These did used to have meaning they don't have meaning anymore But they are upside down on purpose because I wanted to see them I think this was a total of like $75 at a tattoo shop Then we're gonna move on to the quote that's actually also kind of covered up It says I am so much more honestly That's still true and I really like the fact that I can still vaguely see it It's in a Polaroid picture of a palm tree. This was also about 50 bucks on top of that during the same session I've got the this other script tattoo and it said take me as I am or watch me as I go yeah that used to mean something and it doesn't really mean anything anymore hence why it's covered up the total of those like 120 bucks on to the right wrist where this rose is this used to have meaning too it doesn't have meaning anymore I just think it's pretty so I still am obsessed with it this guy was about a hundred bucks at a tattoo shop and we're gonna move over to this dagger that I have on the right side of my forearm it was actually supposed to be something else but I didn't like what the tattoo artist had drawn up so I was just like put a dagger on me I don't care anymore just pick one they all cost the same I don't care I had already paid for my deposit so I was just like just do it don't question it just do it. And it still needs to be filled in. It's not done. But for the time being, this is what it is. I'm actually obsessed with it. Human heart over here. This one actually still does have meaning and I still love this tattoo. You can see it has a whole bunch of like flowers and leaves and roses connected to it. It means I wear my heart on my sleeve. Very pleased with how this one came out. And this one was $300 at a tattoo shop. Right part of my arm where I have these two roses. I believe these were about $250. Eventually I want to get it shaded to what the rose on my wrist looks like on my right hand. I love dark work. I'm not a huge fan of light work. Hi, handsome boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so too. We have this, like I said, Polaroid of palm trees. And then on the back of my arm, we have the Statue of Liberty. And to be honest with you, I can't tell you what bridge is above the Statue of Liberty. Nevertheless, I love that it's New York. I got it at the same time that I got the palm trees. And together, these were about 200 bucks all together. All of my tattoos are pretty much done by somebody different. All these honey combs are done by a photographer over on Instagram. I knew that he was also a tattoo artist and I seen that he was coming to Portland and so I asked if I could book a session with him. This sounds so sketchy. I'm so sorry. I ended up getting all these honeycombs done in a hotel at 2 a.m. in the morning. What? They just kind of blend in with the clouds that I have going on here. We have some like sun glares, sun streaks in here. And, but the honeycombs, I believe, oh my gosh, I can't even remember. He must have charged me like 200 bucks for those. On my right hand, we have a New York City script and I got that when I was in New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. And then I got this lightning bolt the same time I got my New York tattoo. And 
and those two together were actually $100. My index finger on my right hand, and this was supposed to be a sun and a moon, but these two, like the heart and the sun and the moon, were definitely not done by a tattoo artist. They were just done by a friend when I was like 15 or 16 in her house. She bought a tattoo gun off of Amazon, I believe, <laughs> giving out free tattoos. No, they weren't. She was giving out $25 tattoos, so I had her do my heart on the pinky and this tattoo of the moon and the sun, but I literally hated it so much. I hated it so much. I literally scratched it off raw. <laughs> right after she did it. I still love this tattoo. I just think it's so cute and dainty. And then moving back over to my left arm, I ended up getting this cross tattoo that had the word bless in the cross itself. And it was supposed to come out completely different, but she decided to add her own little touch to it. Ooh. This is probably a tattoo that I actually regret. This tattoo of all the ones that I have, this is the one that I regret because I literally hated it. It was supposed to be very sentimental and she ruined it. So we ended up getting it covered up by the same artist that did my Polaroid with all of these woods. I really like this and I love what he did with it. He was able to cover up this hideous cross that was on me along with the script that I had gotten when I was 15. So I got all that covered up at the same time with the same tattoo and he did phenomenal. Moving my arm over on my forearm. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, is that an owl? I know it's hard to tell what it is just because it's so dark and everything is so close together. And I think that's why I love it because I love dark work, but it's actually a tiger. It's half the face of a tiger you can see his eye here tbh i have no idea where his nose is but i am obsessed with it this is probably one of my favorite tattoos that i have we have my lion and my lamb which has the most meaning out of all the tattoos that i have and if you don't know the meaning behind the lion and the lamb it's basically the lion is god jesus and the lamb is me he's looking after me he left the 99 to come find me i just love this tattoo so much and it was also done by the same artist that did the woods the tiger and my Polaroids. Definitely my favorite one out of all of them. There's just so much detail in it. He did such a phenomenal job. He charged me about $350 for this one. Interrupting with a voiceover really quick because I've got about this heart with the flames in it, which was $100. Last but not least, we have the back of my ear that I also got when I was 18. It says, <laughs> love me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I was just going through a really hard time, <laughs> to say the least. Clearly. Yeah, it doesn't have any meaning anymore. I still love the tattoo. Like, I still love it, but it just doesn't have any meaning. <laughs> I hate the fact that I'm not even. I really am looking forward to the day to where I can finish this arm so I'm like even and then finish my, my hand and whatnot and then maybe I'll start on my back or I'll start on my legs I'm not quite sure I do know that I want to get a portrait of Dace and I want to get Dace's name on me and whatnot I get it I have a lot of plans of what I want to do and have done next so I'm super excited I get it fine that is all my tattoos I think it looks like I have more than I actually do just because they're so dark and they're on my arms and they're practically sleeves and really that's all that you guys see on me is my arms half the time so it just looks like I have a lot that is it hopefully this gave you some type of inspiration inspiration or something. Tattoos don't have to mean anything. If you think it's something cool and you want it on your body, get it on your body because it looks cool. I'm going to try to explain this the best that I can, but you know how like when you listen to a song at a certain time in your life and five years go by and you listen to that song again and it reminds you of the time that you were going through when you first found that song and it's kind of like nostalgic or they're sad or like really happy times or whatever. That's kind of like how tattoos are, at least for me. Like when I see like what these face tattoos used to mean, I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I've grown a lot from that. Still love the tattoo. Doesn't mean what it used to anymore, but I still love the fact that I have something in remembrance of what I was going through and to see the progression and the growth that I've had since then. You know what I mean? Like I strongly believe like tattoos grow with meaning and different meanings over time just because we are consistently growing and we're constantly changing. So Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, like I said, it gave you some type of inspiration. If not, whatever. Thanks for watching anyways. We love you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.